All right, what's up, guys? Robert French here, also known in the video game realm as Red Five French. Uh, coming to you today, I, I'm guessing everybody's already woken up to the news, uh, to the big event going on a week from today. In fact, we can assume by this time next week, the internet will be flooded with videos of what we're going to find at Risky. So today the big news was they announced they're doing a Star Wars event at Risky Reels. Um, my friend Andrew Palladino sent me a great little link to that this morning and I, I got to see a little bit of somebody's experience in checking out Risky. Now, I've already been to Risky once a day, but I figured I would hit Risky again real quick, just kind of check it out and talk to you guys, because uh, this is something that's really, uh, it's its amazing, it's, I'm sure, to everybody to wake up and everybody's excited. Uh, but for anybody who is out there who was like me, who's, you know, getting ready to turn 40 or 50 even, and has been playing video games their whole life, this is groundbreaking stuff right here. I mean, this is huge huge news. Uh, if, if I could go back in time and talk to the 10-year-old Rob who used to play video games in his bedroom when he was supposed to be sleeping or doing his homework and say, hey dude, one day, yeah, see here we go, it's already on the screen, see that there? Uh, and just said, dude, you know, one day, oh, somebody over here, somebody over here, let's see if we can maybe fall back and grab this right here real quick. Without getting shot, come on, why aren't you doing it? Help me, come on, work with me people. I'm gonna get shot trying to get this here. Uh, <clears throat> but for like I said, somebody like myself who grew up playing video games, if somebody had told me about this um, when I was younger, or even myself had basically um, grown up. It said, dude, you're gonna be going to a Star Wars concert one day. In Fortnite, I would be like, "No, nah, you're you're crazy," or a, a, a premiere. Um, now this is like uh, I mentioned the concert just by accident just now, because this is a lot like their concert event that they did with Marshmello. Uh, I went to that. That was a huge, huge thing. So we're gonna check out some posters over here real quick. Let's see if we can't sneak up on this homeboy over here. He's placing traps, it looks like. Uh, this is a huge event. Like I said, I've mentioned before, like, you know, we're getting to a point where um, it's about, you know, like, what can video games do besides just be video games now? See, we got posters all over the place here. Uh... And my friends and I, we kind of call this, I have some friends that I stream with, or uh, well, that, well, one that streams, and uh, we play a lot together. And we've been talking this, we kind of called this a while ago. Um, you know, we've noticed the... This guy's just going to sit in here and hide. He knows I'm around here somewhere. We've noticed the sound test they've been doing, the screen test that they've been doing. And uh, we know that something has been coming to Risky. We, we weren't quite sure what it was. My assumption was that it was going to be perhaps like um, what to look for in the future uh, with Fortnite. Like, you know, coming season two or, you know, uh, what have you. But the fact that they're doing the Star Wars event is just mind-blowing and J.J. Abrams is going to be a part of this. I can't imagine how many people are going to tune in. Um, and witnesses. Oh, this guy placed a trap and he got killed. I thought the guy was just in here hiding out. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's get in here. So, um, let's see here, switch this up a little bit. Uh, 
I wanted to uh, to, to kind of, like I said, hop on here and just kind of talk to you guys and like what this means for me, like I said, being a video game uh, fan for, for so many years. Uh, you know, I was trying to explain this even to my father, and he's just kind of like, what? what? So, so here we got, we got the screen here. This is going to start. It's kind of like a, a trailer for the scene that we're going to see from Star Wars as if you were at the, the theater. And then, um, I swear I've been playing video games my whole life, you guys. Uh, but as we're going to run around here real quick, let me just... So let's see. So yeah, we got some posters over here. Um, some more posters on the inside. And now these, we've also noticed uh, the guy who I sh who streams um, and I, I run squads with a lot of times with my cousin Holden. His name is Anthony. He noticed these trucks here that have been kind of floating around. And um, like I said, we've noticed the, the color tests that have been going on. They've done an animation test. They did an animation with a sound test. And uh, Holden, my cousin, uh, the guy who streams, Anthony and I, we've all basically been just running squads over the last, you know, week or so, a couple of weeks, and have known that something, something was coming. My cousin Holden called it with the uh, release of the Stormtrooper skin. Um, he, he kind of figured that that was just the beginning, that there was going to be more coming, either more skins or more um, more from Star Wars. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that this um, release was, you know, kind of set up with the, um, the suit and these tests that have been going on, like I said, here at Risky. Uh, something about Fortnite that is interesting, because it's not like a lot of video games in many aspects and the fact that <clears throat> um, for the most part there's not a lot of like problem solving or um, like clues to solve you know like it's not like Mario where like you get into a room and you gotta try to figure out okay how am I gonna open this door or Zelda you know, how do I get this, you know, secret vault to open up? And it's not like one of the aspects of Fortnite, but they do add in these, these little clues and these bits of, like, you can kind of solve and, and figure out what's coming next uh, when it comes to Fortnite. The way they have introduced things and the way they have kind of set up, uh, you know, events with the Avengers and uh, just different things like, you know, again with Star Wars and they kind of give you clues, alright, like something's coming and if you're smart enough and you pay close attention you get to, uh, you know, to kind of like figure out these little mysteries, which I think is pretty awesome. Now, in another video where I was kind of talking about video games and playing Fortnite, you know, I mentioned um, how, you know, when I was a kid, if you wanted more content, skins, missions, whatever, you kind of had to wait and like, you know, for the next title. And at that point you weren't even really sure, you know, is there gonna be another one? Um, you know, I don't think anybody was certain there was gonna be a, a Mega Man 2 or a Mega Man 3 when the first one came out. So, you know, the fact that a game like this can constantly update and constantly evolve, it's just amazing. Keeping up with things like Stranger Things and again, the Avengers and Star Wars is, is really awesome that they can keep up with pop culture but now we're adding this element where we're all going to gather around we're going to be sitting here in risky reels like in a drive-in theater situation and uh watching this thing all together and watch it unfold and to me that is uh, again amazing like you know with the marshmallow concert uh i think that was what was better than the halftime show for the super bowl that year you know what i mean like that was an event that was just I'll never forget, and it sounds ridiculous because it took place inside of a video game, but it it was amazing nonetheless. Like you know, it, it's you can watch a concert on your TV, and it's not like being at the concert, but at least you're experiencing it. This was like not having to leave your home, and still not only experiencing the concert as a viewer, but as like as as being there, as being part of the action, and <clears throat> being able to to interact with people um it's just it's absolutely amazing and so 
the fact that they can do this, uh, to me, is just, like I said, it's just mind-blowing. Uh, again, I could, I could time travel back to myself at 10 years old and say, hey, dude, you won't believe what's going to come, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it for a second. Um, Action's about to pop off. Action's about to pop off. Crazy. I don't know. Two boats on fucking land? Come on, people. This is a drive-in theater, but... I mean... Can we get real here? He's not even trying to play for This is ridiculous. This is two drive-in fucking... Wow. Buttholes right there. A bunch of buttholes right there. Uh, so anyway, like I said, this is just a mind-blowing experience. Like I said, going back to the Marshmallow concert, uh, that's just unreal, you know, uh, technology where people can just, you know, hop in on their avatars and go to this concert. And now we're taking it to this level of watching movies and stuff, too. So that's just um, I'm, what I'm really hoping. Like, I, you know, at first I thought maybe the screen might cut to, like, as you're watching this clip of uh, Star Wars it might just like take up your whole screen as if you're watching it at home. What I'm really hoping is that these screen tests and all this stuff that they've been doing for this little bit will actually play on the screen and you'll be able to see it as your avatar. That's what I'm really hoping for. I'm hoping this isn't like watching a DVD in your house kind of experience. I hope this is more like the view you have at the drive-in will be the view you have <clears throat> of, um, of, the, of the screen and what you're actually seeing. That's going to be pretty hot. Um, but I guess I'll drop back in here one more time and just kind of wrap this up real quick. Uh, basically, you know, so I just wanted to kind of show people this if they haven't seen it yet, I'm sure. Um, many of you already have. Uh, but I think this is, again, just, um, it speaks to, like, I, I mentioned this in, I think, again, another video where it's gotten to that point where it's like, okay, you know, um, I, th I think the... I think the turn was when I was about 12 or 13 years old, 14 years old, with some of these like Sega CD systems and stuff like that, where it's like, okay, our video game, video game systems can play video games and more. We can listen to music, we can play video, we can do all kinds of things with these new systems. And I think we're now at that point where, again, it's not about, okay, your video game system can play video games and more. But what else could it do? What what can your video games do now? You know, it's not just about what can your system do, but what about what can your what can your video games do? So, um, but yeah, Holden, Anthony, we called it. Like I said, we've been saying for a long time that something was coming to the big screen. Oh, that was so close. We weren't really sure what it was. I think uh, <clears throat> my cousin Holden did say it was going to be something Star Warsy. I figured it would just be like animations. Um, for like upcoming seasons kind of give you a heads up as to what to expect from perhaps like season 2 chapter 2 and um that was even better Yeah, don't watch me, fool. So anywhere, anywhere. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Uh, Risky Reels, next Saturday, 2 o'clock, Star Wars event. Holden, Anthony, we called it, you guys. Can't wait. 
this is this is going to be groundbreaking. And you know, this is again my friend Anthony who streams. He was talking about things like you know, uh, ready up player one and that kind of thing. Where you know, it's pretty much coming to a point where it's not just about you know um, playing a video game and running around and killing each other, but being able to be part of a community and like uh, uh, it's 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 uh, it's revolutionary. This is this is groundbreaking. I think a lot of people think this is just cool and it's going to be neat, but this is this is absolutely um, absolutely groundbreaking what we're what we're looking at. Uh, so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. Thanks for listening to me ramble a little bit. Uh, I hope you're ex as excited as I am. If you couldn't tell by the name, I am a huge, huge Star Wars fan. And this has been a big week for Star Wars. I mean, like, you know, uh, we got this, I guess. Well, I, I don't know if was it this week that the ride opened. I think it was this week that the Rise of the Resistance opened at Disney, which also looks amazing. So... Uh, you know, Black Widow, Mulan trailer premiered. So Disney has had a huge, huge, huge week. Star Wars has had a huge, huge week. I'm excited about all this, guys. Um, God, like I said, I really hope this is what I'm talking about right here. Like if you if you just you tune in and you watch this screen, if you get it from this angle, or maybe if you know you you, you get here a little late. guy been just watching me oh shoot that was holy I think that guy was just up on the truck watching me just like <laughs> listen to me talk about Star Wars Oh, man. Anyway, too funny. All right, guys. Uh, I think that's going to be it for me right now. Uh, thanks for uh, listening to me blab a little bit. Like I said, I'm an old man, so this is uh, cool. This is exciting. Can't wait. And uh, see you guys next week. I'll probably do a video next week and just do my experience of it. So look for that. Leave any comments you guys have for me. I would appreciate that. And don't forget to like, share, and feel free to follow me at Twitter at RFA the third. That's RFA the third three R D on Twitter for more video game clips and stuff on comic books and movies and all kind of fun stuff. So anyway, thanks again for listening. You guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Peace.